All right, guys, Kazoo Seventy One here, back on my aberration playthrough for beginners. Beginners, not you, experienced players, people who have not done this before, usually. So, last episode we tamed another Megalosaurus, and what I did was I took the one. It's really low level, so I left it at the base. I'm not gonna take it with me. And what my goal is to continue to tame these guys. I need to get a pack of them, so I'm back down here with the first one I tamed that killed me a couple of times. Or yeah, they killed me. A couple, no, they killed me once killed me and killed something else so coming back down here and as you remember i failed with the dung beetle as well last time i had a dung beetle i was carrying it back to the base and i accidentally got off the megalosaurus i ate the dung beetle so i'll go ahead and tame a, a dung beetle while i'm down here so i was going to do that first i just want to show you guys this part so i grabbed the dung beetle from down there there was another megalosaurus down there i'm gonna go back down there in just a moment but let's go ahead and tame this dung beetle this time i brought poop with me so I am ready to tame these guys and I just need to get at least one to start with so I got some uh, fertilizer maker so we can get working on a garden so I'm just taking it up here where it's safe getting out of that area just looking for a spot here where I'm, I'm kind of clear and it looks like this is a pretty good spot so we're gonna drop it so this is the the right mouse or Yes, left mouse attack, right mouse pick up, and right mouse is drop. So there, I fed it one time, and I'm not gonna sit here and do this whole thing again where I watch it. We're just gonna kind of skip forward a little bit here, and um, and here we go. This is where he's almost tame. So I had to, you know, wait a while. I kept checking him for a while. Just skip skip several minutes. I don't want to bore you guys to death with waiting on a dung beetle to be ready to eat poop. That's so boring. Can you eat some more poop, dude? Come on, eat the poop. You want poop? I don't even think dung beetles eat the poop. I don't even know what they do. I don't know what they do with it. Anyhow, in Ark, they eat poop. There you go. So, I don't know why they roll the poop up. I think there's something that they do with it. I don't know, but who knows? It's disgusting. <laughs> so, here we go. Back down, guys. Here we go. Let's go back to where this Megalosaurus was, and we're going to get this guy tamed. So, just skipping forward a little bit. No reason to show you guys me walking back down here. So, Here's kind of where I was, and there is a Megalosaurus right there. There is also a Gigantopithecus there, which is the Bigfoot, the aberrant one. But there's that Megalosaurus right there that's eating something. And there's another one down there. Look, another dung beetle right there, too. But there's something else down there to the right. It looks like that could be another one. Let's see. It's an Iguanodon. Okay. Yep, another, there's another iguana down on the ground right there. So it um, looks like a titanoboa knocked one out. And then maybe after it knocked it out, the megalosaurus killed it. So I don't know. But we're going to get this guy tamed. I, I'm using this harpoon launcher like I told you guys before. And I'm using the net projectile. So this is going to make it the easiest way for me. If you don't have these, um, you're just going to have to shoot these guys. You can make a trap for them. Um, easily make a trap uh, you can see some of my videos on how to make a simple trap the spinal trap would work you don't even need that you need something about the size of a uh, that trap I made up top that I led the uh, iguanodon into the what's his name the megasaurus would fit in there I would recommend making that a little bit bigger uh, four four foundations wide you know four square that'd be the easiest way to do it and then just you don't even need it that high you just need it one wall high i think for these guys I mean, you can do two walls high to be safe but um i'm just going to use this though it makes it easier for me and we're just going to net it there we go this time i ain't playing around as you're going to see i'm going to keep looking around here because i am not doing what happened to me last time when i get snuck up on and end up killing my dino for some strange reason i didn't know i could do and end up uh getting killed myself i like this megalosaurus i'm on and I'm gonna knock this 105 out as well. So the one I'm on is like 220 now, so something like that. So we're gonna just knock this guy out. Uh, this one went and, uh, or her, they're both females. She apparently went over there and killed the, uh, that Iguanodon I was looking at. So now that she's down, we're just gonna throw some uh, mutton in there. As you guys, I think it was last episode I killed that Ovis, I can't remember. It wasn't in this one though. I was, I watched this video a couple of times before I record these vocals. So, but uh, the last episode I, I kill, killed that sheep, that Ovis, so I could get the mutton from it. So we're gonna come check this iguanodon out real quick. Now this one got knocked down. It's a little low level. It's really not that great. But we're gonna go ahead and tame it since uh, it's knocked out. Might as well. We got an extra one there. So um, the Gigantopithecus won't bother you unless you get like right in front of it. Then it's gonna knock, hit you. I don't think it'll hit you on top of this uh, Megalosaurus unless you bumped into it or something. 
So, but we're just gonna come up here a little bit. We've got an earthquake going on right now. We're gonna grab some uh, some berries. I'm gonna harvest a little, couple of these bushes. This one to make sure I'm safe. I am not playing that game anymore. We're gonna be looking quite a bit. I was a little reckless when I died with the first one. We ain't doing that again. We are gonna look and look and look. As you can see, when I was shooting and tranking that Megalosaurus, I was looking all each way each time before I shot it as I was reloading the gun, just making sure I ain't getting attacked again, man. Uh, especially with the 105. 105 is not the highest level. 150 is on this map, but uh, 105 is pretty good. It'll work for me. That other one I have, that'll be like fodder, that, that one I tamed last episode, that lower level one. So all these low level ones, I'm just going to use them. I'll carry about five or six with me down there when I try to go down to the rock rock drakes. Um, we'll level them up as best we can, and we'll see how far we can get. It's going to take me a couple of tries. I've never gone down there until this playthrough on foot so just so you guys know so this is going to be my first time going through going through all the stuff a lot of these things on aberration on this playthrough i will be doing for the absolute first time and i'll tell you guys when they are because there's quite a few things i'm gonna do that i've never done before so first time i played through aberration um my daughter was trying to get down there and i was you know waiting for her to figure out how to get down there and I went down there with a pack of Carnos. She had a pack of Megasaurus. We came across a Reaper Queen. And she just wiped out every Carno I had and killed me. And then my daughter kept all her Megasaurus. That's why I don't use Carnos anymore. I'm just going to use these Megasaurus because they're a lot tougher than the Carno. And there's a dung beetle here. We're going to feed that since it's right here. And then, um, yeah, those Carnos, I mean, a big pack of them. I had like seven of them, and they just, they wiped out. They got killed real quick. There's the iguana done. Simple tame. And I am using um, a couple of mods on this map. There are the superstructures and the dino storage version 2. And what I just shot that thing with is a soul gun. People ask me that all the time. What is that? That is a soul gun that shoots these soul balls out. And the soul balls are what you're balling up these uh, tames with. So just uh, going forward here, tame this guy. Here we go. There's the dung beetle. I'm going to pull out that soul gun again, a soul ball that. It's just a quick way of putting in the ball. The cryopods, if you don't have mods, you're playing on consoles, same thing. Just uh, not as good, but they do work. They were kind of designed, I, I believe, off these soul balls. This Dino Storage version 2 was out way before that. So just going forward, I skipped uh, almost 11 minutes of footage there, just sitting here waiting. Because that's all I was doing, was standing on my Megalosaurus waiting. And I named my Megalosaurus while I was waiting. I just named her Sandy just to give her a name. And So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some food in this one. And we are going to head up. And, and I'm going to show you guys just a, a few minutes here. And then... I'm going to skip another 10 minutes because I don't want to just show you guys me running around in the dark for 10 minutes. But what I did was I took this one up. Uh, we're going to head back up to, to the base. And once I get to the base, I just passed the base up and I just went and killed a bunch of stuff. And just kind of leveled these two up a little bit so I could put some more levels in them. And uh, killed a Ravager, killed some other stuff. And I'll show you guys a couple of kills, but we're not going to do a bunch. Because I just don't, like I said, don't want to bore you guys. It's just when it's the same stuff repetitive over and over again, there's no reason to show you. Here's the blue gems right here. If I didn't show you guys that before, they're in this first section. So I don't have to go far to get these. But you do need them to make hazmat suits. So you need all three gems. Blue, green, and red to make those hazmat suits. So that's what I'm working on. Green ones are all over up top. The blue ones are all over right here. And then the red ones are in the hazardous zone. So we're going to have to get down there and get some red ones eventually. You might not need the, I think you need the red ones to make a gas collector, but you don't need the red ones for the hazmat. So I'll show you guys when we get to that point. I apologize. I can't remember off the top of my head, but cause I know you can get in the radiation zone with hazmat suit on without having red gems, but you need the red gems for something. I think it was a gas collector. So you need the blue and green to get down that hazmat zone. Cause it wouldn't make sense if you couldn't get in the hazmat hazardous zone without red gems and that's the only place you can get red gems oh you do need them i'm sorry so yeah i'm you do but you can also get red gems from the uh roll rats so the roll rats when they bury burrow underground sometimes they will drop gems green red or blue 
and you can get red gems from there. You can also get red gems on the rare occasion from the earthquakes, because the earthquakes will drop them, but that's more rare with the red ones. The further down you are towards that radiation zone, the better chance you got of getting red gems from the earthquake. They're rarer up here. So, but anyhow, so we're just gonna kind of, we're just moving up a little bit. I'm just heading back. I just want to show you guys this for a few moments. And um, like I said, when I get to the hazmat suits, I'll show you guys everything it takes. I, I'll slow down the video, make sure you guys understand how to make those, uh, especially if you haven't played through before. And we got an earthquake going on. So I left this in there just because I wanted to show you guys me walking back and then just, uh, I wanted to show you guys this one part in just a second here. Could have cut all this out and made it a little shorter but i wanted to talk about the hazmat suit and stuff so that's why i left this in as we were walking back so but we are almost to what i wanted to show you guys um because when you're when you're walking these guys they work really well as far as fighting together and then you have a bigger pack and you guys will see as we go along when i get like five or six following me you have a bigger pack they work better because if they'll grab these small dinos one of them will grab it and then the other ones will eat it while it's holding it so it works out pretty good and uh, what I'm doing is, oh man, that's a cool parasaur. I should get that, but I don't need another parasaur. Maybe later. Um, I'm actually just looking at these dinos as I'm walking to, seeing if there's any of them I want to tame. So what I'm using there is the awesome spyglass. That is the other mod I'm using on this map. So that is telling me what I'm looking at. So it gives you the torpidity. Here we go with some raptors. I'm going to grab one. It's going to bite it while it's in my hands. And I really didn't want to grab it. We're going to get that other one. So there we go. We got him. But anyway, I think I told you guys. So, so Superstructures, Dino Storage Version 2, and the Awesome Spyglass. Those are the three mods I have on this map. Um, and that top left is what you're seeing of the Awesome Spyglasses I'm looking through. So like I said, walked back to the base. We went past the base. I went and killed all. I finished out the day. I worked through most of the night. I just want to show you guys this Parasaur theme that got in my way. Just to show you how quick these guys kill it. It's not a high level, but I mean, we wiped it out pretty quick. And then we're gonna hit this parasaur right here and just show you guys this. Look at one hit, I'm killing it. They're really low levels though, 15. So going forward, I finished back to the base. I got my, my Dodicarus out. So this is how I wanna end this video. So just for a moment here, I got on the Dodicarus. This is that low level Dodicarus I tamed. And what we're doing is we're gonna collect some stone. There's still a lot of stone. I got a lot of work to do in this building, but I'm not gonna bore you with me collecting stone for forever. I just wanna show you guys the transfer tool on superstructures. If you are on PC and you have an ability to use mods, I recommend using a superstructures mod. It was designed off the Structures Plus mod, but Structures Plus, the guy stopped supporting it, and then all of a sudden he's supporting it again. So a lot of us had switched to Superstructures. But anyway, transfer tool. What it is is a little tool. You can set up these uh, these clicks inside your inside the tool, and you can tell it what to transfer. That way you can do it really quick. Instead of grabbing it, carrying it somewhere, dropping it off, you can just do a quick transfer. So here's the transfer tool right here. It costs one thatch to build. It's really easy. I'm just going to open it up with the right mouse or left mouse and then I'm gonna put in here what I want and I'm gonna right mouse that first button and that sets the thing and then we just left mouse and transfer it's pretty easy so but there you go guys that's a quick video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and I will see you next time